In this video, I'll be showing you how to program this style RCA remote to your device. Coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video to help you fix various things. Today we are working with this RCA remote control. This happens to be model RCR504BZ. This is a pretty basic four device remote control. It can control your TV, VCR, DVD, satellite or cable box, or digital TV converter box. Okay, so this remote isn't really made to control any audio components since there's no audio uh, selector button on top here, uh, except maybe a TV that has the HDMI ARC feature, and uh, you can control it with a compatible HDMI ARC soundbar or an audio component. Uh, because you're using the TV audio to control it, um, it should control the soundbar through the HDMI cable. Okay, so without any further delay, let's dive right in. Alright, the first things first now, uh, make sure the batteries are good! Okay, I've seen many remotes and many comments in my other videos uh, that the remote won't program correctly and the only thing wrong was is the batteries were just marginal. Alright, so yeah, just go back here and take the cover off and of course there's the batteries and if you're interested, uh, there's the model number two. Okay, so there are two basic ways to program this thing. One is the direct code entry method, and two is the uh, code search. And I'll show you how to do both of those coming up here in the next uh, moments. Okay, we're going to start with the direct entry method first. Uh, so basically all you do, uh, we're going to program a TV first. So push the code search button here. Until this LED comes on like that. Push the component, which in this case is going to be a TV. And uh, I'm working with a Sony TV, so it's... 0810. If you don't have a code list available, I'll post a link in the description below, and I'll also post some other important links that you might be interested in. Okay, so here we have my Sony TV. We're going to go ahead and power it up. Heard the relay click, so it's coming on. There we go. Uh, let's check the volume. Yep, we got volume. And um, one thing that you might be interested in, um, I saw a remark on some of the comments on this remote, was that if you want to change the input, use the source button, right? Um, it's, it's below the 9. It's a blue button below the 9. Okay, so you can control the component input on this TV, or any TV for that matter, by using the source button. Okay, so the TV is working fine, uh, so let's test a DVD now. So to program, once again, push the code search button until the red light comes on. And, uh, you know, this, I don't understand why they did this, but uh, to program the DVD, you're actually going to uh, push the VCR device button. Okay, so I just did that, and uh, I'm going to use code 1633, and that'll work for a Sony DVD. So let's test that. All right, here's my Sony DVD. Push power. Came on. Uh, this remote doesn't have an open-close uh, button on it, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then uh, I'm hitting play to close it. There we go. There's no DVD inside of there. I just wanted to prove the remote worked. Okay. Okay, next I'll just show you how to program a VCR. Um, it's going to be very similar to the DVD. Uh, push code search again. But uh, until the light comes on, once again use the VCR button, and I'm going to be using 0032. That's for my Sony VCR. Uh, I'm not going to cut the camera over there because you get the idea. Okay, now last but not least, I'm going to program this to a Dish Network satellite box. Uh, that's using this button here. And um, it should be important to remember that if you have a dish and you're using one receiver to control more than one room, uh, this remote will only work in the room where the dish box is physically located at. 
Uh, reason being is the, uh, the secondary remote for the dish uses a UHF radio and uh, this remote is only infrared. And also if this remote doesn't run your dish receiver uh, make sure to check the remote address and make sure it's set to number one. Uh, see my latest uh, Dish Network programming remote video and I'll, that shows you how to change the remote address in case yours has changed. So same as before, push the code search button. This time we're using this one. And for Dish Network it's 0775. There it is. Uh, so I'm not going to switch the camera over there, you all get the idea. But I do want to make a couple of notes. Uh, since this is a fairly simple remote, it doesn't have all the keys that you might be used to. Uh, so to access the program guide, you're going to want to push menu, which is right here, menu, and then one. And that'll get to the uh, program guide. And if you wish to select something from the program guide, you're going to want to use this enter button right here, and that'll select it. Uh, yeah, you might be used to the button in the middle for, uh, for enter, uh, but as you can see, this remote doesn't have that. All right, let me talk for a minute about the code search feature I told you about earlier. Uh, you can use this if you've tried all the codes listed on the list, or maybe your code wasn't listed, but you still want to see if this remote can control your device. Okay, simply push the code search key, just the same as before until the red light comes on, and then push the component key. In this example, I'm going to use the TV right there. And uh, the different thing is, is now I'm not going to input the, the four-digit code, but instead you're going to keep pushing power, 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 power. You might have to do this a couple hundred times uh, before you cycle through all the codes. Power, power. Oh, hypothetically, the TV just turned off. You're going to want to start with the TV on, by the way. Um, so you've got to push enter within four seconds to save the code now it should work with your TV. I'm not going to try that because if I have to cycle through 200 codes, you all are going to get mad at me. Well, that's about it, guys and gals. If you found this video useful, click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.